Yo, what's up guys? It's Jeff from Updated. And just after receiving the update almost two weeks ago of iOS 15 beta two, we're now looking forward to iOS 15 beta three, as that will likely be one of the last few betas with major new features included. Now, what's interesting though, is we did see the iOS 15 public beta go live last week. So we'll talk a little bit about that and what that means as well. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so let's get into some of the scheduling details for iOS 15 beta three. Now, Apple has followed a very similar schedule from years past, and as discussed in our last beta preview video, we should be seeing a very similar schedule this year, and so far we have with the beta two release coming just in time for that two week mark. Now, looking at past history from past releases, I think it's pretty safe to say that we should expect another bi-weekly release here for beta three. So if we say two weeks from beta two, we should be expecting um, a release date of July 6th, that being today, to July 8th, that being this coming Thursday. Now, Apple did do something very unconventional and that was releasing the first public beta last week. Typically, Apple releases the first public beta alongside the third developer beta, but given there's really not too much going on as far as changes go in iOS 15 so far, um, I could see why they rushed that timeline and are now allowing public beta testers to uh, test the iOS 15 betas. So with that said, if you want to get onto the developer betas or the public betas, check the link in the video description down below. Um, that will get you to either one and get you all signed up. Okay, so now that we've talked about scheduling, let's get into what we should see in beta three. Now, as far as new features go, Apple has now included essentially every single new feature that they previewed at WWDC. In beta two, we saw SharePlay being activated for FaceTime, which didn't work in beta one. We saw updated UI for some apps like the Maps app and the Weather app. And there were also a lot of other small changes sprinkled in as well. But what else can we expect from these betas as far as new features go? Honestly, it's not looking good. Uh, past what we've seen so far, we can only guess at this point as to what's going to be added. And in doing that, I would love to see a dedicated app library icon added to iOS as that's something I use quite a bit in iPadOS. Now, if you look on Reddit, there's also a ton of other people that totally agree with me on this new feature being added or needed in iOS. And then another popular choice is a split screen view, which is actually something that we found in the shortcuts app being teased as a pre-made shortcut from Apple. So maybe, just maybe, we'll see split screen capabilities at least on the larger sized iPhones as that would really increase productivity quite a bit and allows you to just do a little bit more within iOS. Now, the last new feature that we should be seeing and one that Apple has been rumored to be adding to iOS 15 is Quick Notes. Currently in the Notes app, you can see the Quick Notes that you made on your iPad using that feature, but you can't actually create any using the iPhone. So hopefully this is a feature that is brought to the iPhone because again, it's a productivity feature that would definitely improve users' workflows, especially mine, as I take a lot of quick notes on my iPad and that would be something I would love to have on the iPhone. Now, there are a few fixes that Apple needs to make and my biggest concern comes to the connections. Now, the Bluetooth connection between my phone and my car is just extremely poor right now. It's very spotty and you have to go through a very specific process to get it to work. So that's definitely a bug causing that poor experience. There's also a major issue with HomePods specifically. Now I run a beta version and also the regular version on my HomePods and both are not working right now. So it really has something to do with iOS 15, um, specifically beta two. Now, a lot of times when I try to play music through the HomePod, the music won't transfer over and it just uh, does not work. It's just completely silent. And again, there's a very specific process on how to get that fixed. So that tells me that this is a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection issue and um, it just needs to be fixed. So overall, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections have been a little bit frustrating here in beta two and will be something I hope is fixed in beta three. Um, and past that, there's just a few UI bugs here and there, nothing too major actually. Bugs have been uh, quite scarce here in the iOS 15 betas, but those will likely be fixed here in beta three. Okay, so that's a little bit of a preview as to what we can expect from iOS 15 beta three. If you guys are interested on hopping onto the developer betas, there's a link down in the video description that, down below that can help you get started on that process. But if you want to hop onto the public betas, 
you can have it over, head over to beta.apple.com for more information. And um, that link is also in the video description down below. So with that being said, make sure to stay tuned for the beta three update. It's going to be a good one. Um, there's going to be a lot going on there. And um, yeah, in the meantime, I hope you all are enjoying iOS 15 or enjoying the iOS 15 content. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video on the updated YouTube channel. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some other things that we have going on, check the channel information link down below. It's solo.to slash updated. You can check out our channel memberships, our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week. That podcast is called The Infinite Loop, and we talk about everything going on in the world of tech. Also, we have links to our giveaways sponsored by awesome companies like Provado VPN, so definitely check those out as well. We'll have a new one every single month. So guys, thank you again for watching today's video and we hope to see you guys in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.